quick point layout. To start, once you know the location of your first point, communicate the design distance to the rod person so that they may pace the distance accurately from the instrument as you dial in the design angle. Or if they are already working in front of the telescope, they can at least eyeball the approximate distance, because ultimately the closer you are on your first observation, the less check shots will be needed overall. As the rod person is walking away from the instrument, you can preview your line using the instrument's hard sights and communicate left or right as they walk so that their paced distance is both linear and accurate. Let's assume that well-practiced pacing gets you within 5 feet of the design distance. As the rod person turns around to face the instrument, you should again give direction for line. Now that the two of you are facing opposite directions, your right is their left. A common practice is to always use the left and right of the rod person no matter which direction they are facing. Whatever you do, make sure to communicate whose directions you are referencing at the outset. Using hand signals or verbal directions, use callouts that describe how drastically the rod person needs to move, such as start walking to your left for larger distances, move the rod slowly left for medium distances, and left a little, stop, left a little, stop, when navigating the last couple tenths, and good there when the prism is online. If using hand signs, make sure you have the attention of the rod person so that they can see and make the necessary adjustments. If you're operating the rod, you won't have to look down to see your bubble level until you're online, so be sure to keep your head up and stay alert for directions. For the first shot, there is no reason to get the prism perfectly online. Remember, you're still at least a few feet from the correct distance where you will be setting your point. So right now, your crosshairs only need to touch enough of the prism's reflective surface to take a shot. Spending time giving additional direction to get your line perfect on this shot is a waste of time, and we're not in the business of wasted time or motion. Okay, taking the shot, and it says away 2.100. For anything less than 5 feet, you'll want to pull out your tape measure immediately. Why waste additional shots due to eyeballing the distance and taking check shot after check shot when you can be exactly right right now? First, mark where your shot was taken by making a divot or placing a marker and measure away 2.100. Using the top vertical running crosshair, direct the rod person left or right until they are exactly on line. Great, you have a good line and a good distance go ahead and make the divot again for reference. Since hammering a point into the ground effectively destroys your divot reference, you may find it helpful to trace two intersecting lines so that while you're hammering the point, you have two guidelines directing you to exactly the right spot. Now that you've set the point, you can take the second check shot to verify that your distance is good. If not, go ahead and make any small adjustments with your hammer left, right, forward, or back at this time. All right, the check shot says away 0.005. That's right within tolerance for this task. Next point. A quick reminder, when adjusting a point you've already set in the ground, notice that adjusting the hub or nail by hammering it directly creates a gap which will ultimately make for a very unstable or loosely set point. Instead, hammer the ground around your marker in the direction you want it to move. This solidifies the ground around your point keeping your hub or nail firmly in place with no wiggle room. Thanks for visiting Lean Survey. There are plenty more best practice, quick tricks, and tip videos on the way. Be sure to like, leave a comment if you have recommendations for content, and click that subscribe button for more.